Capricorn. Welcome to another love reading of yours. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Some of the energies of the cards are going to be flipped. So feel free to switch the energies vice versa. And of course, if you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down below. Alright, someone's ready to be in a relationship. I like that. Well, of course, um, this can also mean um, someone being very clingy, very needy. But I look at this as someone who's ready to be in a relationship, okay? Alright, let's do this. In the current situation, we have the devil here, okay? A lot of obsession. I think you're addicted to a certain person or addicted to a certain situation. Or this is just a situation that you feel very stuck tied and bound to okay doesn't have to be but i am getting if if, if it's in relationship that relation to this i feel you are obsessed with the relationship and you could have tried to hold on from being in a relationship with this person or you could have been wanting to enjoy your freedom and singlehood for a very long time but i think you're ready to do this now all right your biggest challenge or what is influencing this is the magician i like this so I think you're obsessed with manifesting this relationship is what I'm getting, okay? Because the magician is someone who knows how, they're like in full-blown manifestation mode. It's almost like ready to take action. Someone's just ready. They're like wanting to put themselves out there. They feel they have everything that it needs to make this happen, all right? So I feel you're completely obsessed with this and you just want to make this happen under any circumstances, okay? Someone's hell-bent on making something happen. Again, so I'm getting someone who's wanting to be in a relationship Finally is what I'm getting. In the past, there could have been a cycle that was stuck and stagnant, okay? Maybe you weren't learning your lessons. Maybe there was, it was, it, it was almost like a lesson that till you don't learn this lesson, you're not going to complete a cycle, okay? So I think things were stuck and stagnant. You could be living at a distance from this person. But yes, um, there were lessons that were finally learned now. I feel you're finally learning your lessons. And on your mind, I think, but with the three of wands in reverse, right? I feel it's almost like you're turning your back towards a situation, okay? Um, three of Wands in Reverse is definitely someone who's giving up on their manifestations, who's not been able to wait. So it could also be that, you know what, you're done waiting and waiting and waiting. And now it's like, you know what, I'm going to make this shit happen and I'm done waiting and I'm not going to wait for my ships to come in. Maybe it's more like, I'm getting more of like, you're losing your patience day by day, okay? Like, is this ever happening or not? And that's the kind of energy that I'm getting which you're giving up on. The reason for the reading is the Eight of Wands. This is what you don't see coming. You have... I'm getting a full-blown relationship that's coming towards your way, okay? But this definitely has to do with someone who's wanting to maintain their stature of being single for a very long time. And they're finally ready for this. They're finally ready to be to take that leap. And what you don't see coming is a lot of communication back and forth. Again, you could be this could be online dating, whatever. But I feel that there's your manifestations are finally coming to fruition. Okay, this is forward moment. This is fast forward moment. Okay, it's like almost like from zero to hundred and thirty seconds. All right. Yeah, well, that's not what I meant. But what I meant was things are gonna go really, really quick. Okay, before you even know it. In the near future with the strength here, I feel that you're going to hold on to this relationship, okay? There's something that needs a lot of strength. There's something that needs a lot of strength, stamina, and courage to hold on to this, okay? So I feel that you are going to try and control the outcome. But more than anything, I feel that you're going to put in your 100% in this relationship, okay? Because I think it's a long time coming. What you're doing right now with the high priestess, okay? One of you is giving the other person the silent treatment or it's just that you who's trusting that intuition. And guess what? Your intuition is on point, okay? You know what I'm getting? Almost what I'm getting is that the moment you give up, right? The moment you give up and that's when it comes in. Law of attraction, right? In your environment with the seven of wands, I think there's someone here who's very, very stubborn. Very stubborn, okay? Maybe this person is stubborn with the strength and the seven of wands. I feel that this person could be someone, you know, who's, again, putting in a lot of strength, okay, to make this happen. Because again, with the magician, we see that is the influencing uh, card. So yeah, it's the obsession. It's... The, the the passion towards this relationship okay and uh, the only problem is that this relationship it does have a certain amount of toxicity attached to it okay so that's something that you'll have to be careful about it's almost like uh, the devil and the lovers are almost the same it is a union but with the devil is a union of two people but it is uh, with the devil there okay it's almost like blessed by the devil 
in your emotions with the ace of pentacles say you're giving this person the silent treatment but at the same time you want this brand new beginning with this person okay and in, in your environment i think there's someone who's very very stubborn here someone who is wanting to stand their ground i feel you both are in the same energies but one person's not saying it and trusting their intuition and the more you're trusting your intuition the more you're keeping quiet the more you're letting go the more the opposite person is getting more attracted to you and wanting to make this happen okay However, with the Eight of Swords, I feel that there, there's someone here who's creating their own stress, okay? So, uh, whoever's creating their own stress, right, this is one person who's coming in their own way. So, I'm still, however, going to clarify why do we have this one ugly card in all these cards. Alright. Tell me, why is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse as the overall energy? So this could be someone who's, you know what, um, again, it could be someone who's codependent, like I said before, okay, someone who's, uh, could be someone who's struggling financially, but at the same time, this is someone who's not realizing their worth or value, okay, but with the Empress in reverse here, you could be dealing, this is now coming in because with the Empress in reverse, I feel, again, I'm getting two cards of codependency, okay, so there's someone who just needs to, needs someone, someone who needs to be in a relationship anyhow, okay, they're very afraid of being alone. You could be dealing with someone like that, okay? Um, why is the three of wands in reverse? What have you given up on? Yeah. Okay, see? So on your mind, I think you've given up on a long-term commitment or it's almost like you're waiting for a commitment to come in and your commitment to come in and you're giving up because it's just not coming in. You could have waited and manifested this commitment, but it's just not coming in. And... Why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here? See, someone is very, very stubborn in your environment, okay? This is someone who's very stuck in their ways. So it could be you who's very, very, uh, who's very determined and wanting to do things their way only. You're going to stand your ground. I feel there's someone here who's standing their ground and standing by what they think is right and they're not ready to change their ways, okay? They're not, probably not trying to see things from another person's perspective, okay? That's what's in your environment. Again, this could be the cross watcher, okay? This could be you just change the energies. Um, well, what, is the, what is the high priestess? Why is the high priestess here? So, you're keeping to yourself, you're trusting your reputation with the high priestess, but again, because you're emotionally shut off, okay? You're emotionally shut off because this person, you could have waited for a commitment and they're not coming in. And the person who's your, in your environment, they're just not trying to see things from your point of view, okay? They're only stuck to the way they want things to happen. Again, I'm getting someone, you know, it's like, it's my way, you know? And I, they're very, very helping. I'm getting a very stubborn, defensive egoic energy not ego but more of like stubborn energy they're just not ready to budge okay they want to defend themselves okay even if they know that they're not trying to look at things from your point of view they're just stuck all right and in your emotion you're keeping quiet you're keeping things shut because i think you're emotionally very very sad okay you're there's a sense of sadness and depression around this because it's almost like you thought once there was a lot of potential in a certain relationship but now you're not seeing it anymore okay so that's why i think you're shut down emotionally and you're you're choosing to keep quiet and let this person realize what they're doing okay um why is the eight of swords here i feel someone's still going to be very stuck tight and bound to a certain situation okay why is the eight of swords here too many cards maybe just one card why is the eight of swords here yeah see someone's stuck in their head they've been giving this a lot of thought okay with the four of swords and the queen of wands either there's someone who sees you as a go-getter they see you as someone very attractive very passionate they see you as a go-getter okay but again they're giving this a lot of thought i think there is a period of break between you guys okay and uh but the problem here is that whoever's stuck in their head right they're stuck in their head if whether they want to take this sleep of faith with you or not that they have trust issues okay either this person has had trust issues uh in a previous relationship they could have gone through hell and back and now they think it's risky business that's why they're taking leaps of doubt instead of faith and that's what's they're they're stuck in okay but the problem here is this person's coming in their own way they're creating all, their own stress you have a brand new beginning here okay i think the doubt is they just don't know if they're going to be able to feed this connection if they're going to be able to nurture this connection yeah because again you could be dealing with someone who's codependent on something on or someone okay um what is the strength someone's 
something is requiring a lot of strength. What is the strength here? See, there's someone here who knows this is their emotional happiness, okay? This is their emotional fulfillment. With the Knight of Cups here, I feel that this person wants to come in and be vulnerable. They want to open up emotionally, okay? This person wants to come in and give you that love offer, that commitment, whatever, okay? Because you make them happy, they make you happy. But the problem here is that they are not putting in the work. This is someone who's either fearing lack of reciprocity or someone who's just not ready to invest in the work and they don't want to put in the hard work. They probably feel that, you know what, this thing requires a lot of effort. For the Ace of Pentacles, 100%. It requires a lot of effort, uh, a lot of energy, a lot of investing, okay, to get this off ground. And maybe this person who it is, right, they just don't know if it's worth the risk is what I'm getting, okay? So that's what I have for you, guys. Let me know if this reading resonates. Leave your comments below and I'll try to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.